Good morning, folks. Now things are getting more interesting. The solar flares are kicking back in strongly. We had a geomagnetic storm overnight, and it's likely more is on the way. We'll do the full run along with hurricane looks and some top articles, but let's go right to yesterday's now jacked solar wind data. This happens during discovered dropouts, but you can still see that one of the CMEs we expected did strike our planet yesterday. It caused the geomagnetic unrest you see at the bottom, including the red bar bottom right, a low-level geomagnetic storm that is having minor reverberations this morning. It was a fairly rapid onset of the ground magnetic perturbation and geoelectric surging. Nothing hit scary levels here, but locally, minor electrical issues may be ongoing overnight and into today. But of course, there is more coming, including what happened on the sun just this morning. The bright flash you see is an M-class solar flare erupting from the southern active region. Just look at the mountain creation on the X-ray flux. Those are the solar flares and they provided radio blackouts over the eastern world while most in the west were sleeping. At this powerful of a flare, it's fairly certain a CME has erupted, especially since the flare wasn't impulsive, and you can see the CME blasting the corona here. And while the coronagraphs are only just beginning to update, it is obvious this one is heading at Earth. But it's not next in line. The CME we saw leaving the sun yesterday is also on its way to the planet. The Enlil spirals last night here are for the previous CME, and so we've got at least a one-two punch coming, when you include this morning's eruption. And so, coming off a geomagnetic storm with two CMEs on the way, one must recognize the potential for more. The sunspots are developing major magnetic complexity and are currently beta gamma delta class on the south. The portion where the blue and red cram together and there's clearly dark umbra in that location, that's the dangerous flare-making potential of these sunspots. And as you will notice here, zoomed in at 171 angstroms, the flare originates in that exact region of the sunspot, as we would expect. More geomagnetic storms coming, and probably more flares as well. Folks, you are going to figure out what this is pretty quickly. And while it's not representative of right now, it is the most expected marks of the ensemble forecast for tomorrow near sunrise. Hurricane Ida. This is indeed the wind survey of the hurricane field, which should be nearly Category 5 by that point, helped along by the solar flares as we'll review here at the end of the show. Top articles begin with the search for a threshold of electromagnetic radiation effect on the brain, and they didn't find it. Rather, every person is different, with varying susceptibility. But regardless of your own personal electric interaction with the cosmos, you can help yourself do the best you are able to protect it. How do you piss off pharmaceutical companies? Write a major paper on medicinal plants that can help degenerative neuronal complications. Nice little nod up next out of China where they find that the ENSO, solar activity, and the Atlantic oscillations drive temperatures over the long term. And as those with our textbook know, both ENSO and the Atlantic are heavily forced by solar activity. It's like saying the same thing three times. A bit of a mystery in the science community up next, they know that Earth's magnetic field is rapidly decaying, but they were expecting a ballooning of the auroral ovals to match, and it's not happening. They're struggling to figure out why, but I would love to suggest that as the magnetic poles are shifting, in addition to the field weakening, the auroral oval will continue to break expectations, since the magnetic and geomagnetic poles won't be lined up, and if you remember those weird aurora in China, yeah. It's more of the weird that should be expected. Last but not least, some shots from our textbook on solar forcing of terrestrial storms, including the tropical variety. Folks, it's no coincidence that the tropical storm of the year so far is heading into the Gulf as the sun keeps pounding away. And it's no secret why they took the forecasted strength up over the last day. It may have been a few years since any of you thought about the first student observer, Ferris Walt, who took a study of the sun in tropical storms and won his state championship, the national science championship, and was a semi-finalist at the world championships. We are watching that science unfold in real time right now on Earth. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.